this is Zipporah. It is August 2nd. It is now 11.01 a.m. Um, I'm coming to you to do a video um, about um, taking control of my life. I'm doing a series on YouTube right now, but I'm mainly focusing on weight loss. But if you would go back and look at the very first video that I made, uh, um, I said that I was going to be taking control of my life in all areas of my life and that includes uh, finance, uh, health, wealth, um, <laughs> everything, um, organization, I can't remember everything I said. But anyway, um, if you had a chance to watch uh, one of the earlier videos, um, I talk about how I definitely, definitely, definitely aspire to be rich. A little bit of my background, I grew up poor. Um, you could probably say I'm poor now, <laughs> um, but uh, I want to change that thing. I grew up with, you know, parents that said, you know, money don't grow on trees, life is hard, blah, 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 blah. But I want to change that. I desire to change that. I really feel like I deserve a better life. And one of the things that I learned is that when you want something in life, you have to go to someone who has that because I would ask my parents and people around me all the time, how do I, how do I get rich? <laughs> and they couldn't tell me because they, you know, if they, if they knew about being rich, they, they would be rich themselves or, you know, they, they can't tell me how to get there. So, of course, with my background, I don't know anybody personally that's rich. So the way to find out what they're doing is through books. You know, one of the things that I've um, say that today is so different than it was when I was um, a child. I mean, everything seemed to be so hidden back then. Now, this is an information age. People are... are so ready to to share their secrets and everything now and it, it's really a great great time to be to be alive and and uh to learn about wealth and health and changing your mind um i am definitely influenced by um like i love Lee simmons i'm so grateful for the show that comes on with her uh, oprah um god i love the secret um Joe Vitale, he's one of the um, um, teachers from The Secret, and he has a, like a lot of books and, and um, audio t books and stuff like that, and, and a website on attracting money and finance. So I love his stuff. Um, so um, one of the ladies that I'm reading right now that I'm going to uh, begin by following uh, one of her principles taught in her book. Her name is uh, Tanya Pinkins. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And it's called Get Over Yourself. She's a sister. She won some Tony Awards on Broadway. But people might know her from she played on As the World Turns. And then she also went to All My Children. And I think she played a character called Livia Fry on All My Children. Anyway, she wrote this book. Get over yourself, and uh, in chapter six, she talks about um, uh, financial uh, freedom, and uh, so she starts off talking about uh, passive income, and that's income that you make when you're not even working. Like if you own a laundromat or you own a vending machine or something like that, you don't physically have to be there to get paid. You know, people in the music industry, it's uh, what uh, royalties, or is that? I'm mixing them up, but anyway, that's what passive income is, is, is when you're making money and you're not even there doing the physical work. So anyway, and then she goes on to uh, talk about a system that, um, I don't know, I'm sure she's learned it from somewhere else, but anyway, she says that when you get your, your money, you want to set aside 10% to go in what she calls a financial freedom fund, FFF, financial freedom. And this is money that you'll never, ever spend. It is to be invested, okay? And that's it. You don't spend this money. It's like pay yourself first. You've heard that. That's kind of what this fund is for. It's your golden egg. It's the money you're going to use to live on when you're older. So when you're, you're, you know, in your senior years, you don't ever have to worry about working or struggling. You're going to live off this, this, this fund. Then the next one she has, she says, set aside 10% and it's for a major purchases, purchase fund. 
Uh, this this is a purchasing account. This account will be used to pay for big ticket items like cars or home appliances. So if your car ever breaks down or whatever, or you need a washing machine or any one of your appliances go, I mean expensive stuff, not little stuff. You already have the money set aside to take care of that. Then the next one is the education fund. She says that a lot of people don't feel like they uh, could would make more money if they just had this type of education or whatever. If you set aside 10% of your income and this is to be used to educate yourself and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to school and uh, take out a tuition or whatever, even if it's like getting an audio book or something, any, whatever you need to, to, to do to educate yourself, that, that money will, or, or it could be for your children, that money will be set aside for that. And then uh, there's a donation fund. And that's where you want to give 10% of your money to your church or charity. You know, some people, you know, don't go to church. You can't make them or whatever. Or don't believe in that. But in, the, in that case, then, you know, a charity would be a great, to me, that's still given to God. Because that's what ties is for, was to help the poor and the widows anyway. So, but anyway, I don't want to get into that. That's another subject. Um, and I want to come back to that one because that's that, that one is... Um, is, it is a struggle for me, and I'll explain why. And then the sixth fund, that's the other 50% of your income, your, your total income, um, and that's to go on all your bills. Anything else that is not in the other categories, that's for rent, for food, medical expenses, you know, day-to-day -day life. That's what that account is for. You pay all your bills for that account. So when you get your money, right away, put aside... 50%, that's to go on your financial freedom, your education, your donation, your major purchase. Um, I think I'm forgetting one. But anyway, you heard what I said before. And then the other 50%, pay your bills with it. Okay, how long have I been talking? I'm going to have to come back with part two because uh, I'm running out of time. Okay, I'll be right back.